In this video, we will learn how to find out value of x. These questions taken from class 8 parallel lines. So, first of all, what we have to do, we have to draw one line which is parallel to a, b and c, d. Two parallel lines are given here, a, b and c, d. And here also we have to draw one another parallel line. And let this upper part be a and downside this down one be b. So, what is the value of x? x means whole. So, we can write x is equal to a plus b. Upper upper part be a and downside is b so we can write x is equal to a plus b so first of all we have to find out the value of a then we have to find out the value of b when you add we get value of x so you can see that x is equal to 30 this two what is the relation of this two corresponding angle one is inside one is outside of parallel two parallel lines so we can write a is equal to 30 degree a reason we can write on being corresponding angle reason necessary to write down being corresponding angle similarly to find out value of b b is equal to 40 degree we have to write here b is equal to 40 reason same being corresponding angle you have to write down though please do not give that this dot dot line after that what is the value of x x is equal to we know that a plus b so value of a is equal to 30 and the value of b is equal to 40 when you add we get here 70 degree so value of x is equal to 70 degree hope you understand this question number a now look at question number b here also same when you draw one parallel line parallel to a b and c d these two lines are parallel and let upper part be a and downside be b so first of all we have to find out value of a and b then x is equal to a plus b let's find out value of a a is equal to what a is equal to 30 degrees so let's write here 30 degree reason same being corresponding angle because one is inside another one is outside of parallel lines you can see here two parallel lines are here one is outside one is inside of these two parallel lines so re reason is corresponding angle similarly b also also same b is equal to 30 degree so we can write here b is equal to 30 degree reason same being corresponding angle after that we have to find out the value of x x is equal to 1 x means this whole it means we have to add a plus b so a plus b a is equal to what 30 b also we have 30 when you add we get here 60 degree so value of x is equal to 60 degree now look at next question uh, C. Here also in this type of question we have to draw one parallel line, one line which is parallel to AB and CD. So AB and CD already parallel. We've drawn one line. You can write on here EF also or without writing also you can do it. Now this upper part be A and downside is B. X means whole. It means we have to find out value of A and B. Then when you add A and B, we get whole means value of X. Let's find out A. A is equal to what? What is the relation of this two? You can see here this is in the form of Z. So A is equal to 35. Reason being alternate. You can write on being alternate angle. One this is in the form of z one is left side one is another one is right side so relation of these two is alternate similarly b we have to find out b is equal to 65 b is equal to 65 degree reason being alternate angle after that we have to find out whole x so x is equal to a plus b what is the value of a 35 so write down 35 plus b is equal to 65 so we have to write on 65 and when you add this both angle we get here 100 degree so value of x is equal to 100 degree hope you understand this question number c now look at question number d here also we have to draw one line parallel to a b and c d so here we have to write down a and here we have to write down b okay up to here any confusion so to find out value of x x means what a plus b x means whole upper part also and down one also upper and lower both we have to add means a plus b so first of all find out a then find out b so a is equal to we can write here 40 degree reason being alternate angle you can see here these two are one left side one another one is right side of line so being alternate similarly b is equal to b is equal to 50 same reason we have to write down being alternate 
angle hope you understand this one reason necessary to write after that we have to find out this whole x value of x so x is equal to we can write a plus b a is equal to what is the value of a 40 so we have to write on 40 b is equal to 50 so we have to write on 50 when you add we get here 90 degree so value of x is equal to 90 degree now look at next question number e you can see here here we have a question two lines are parallel a b and c d are parallel so first of all we have to draw another line which is parallel to a b and c d so here let's write on the sign parallel and let upper part be a and downside is b okay so upper part be a and lower part be b so x is equal to what a plus b both we have to add okay so now first of all find out value of a what is the relation of this two angle you can see these two parallel lines are here this line and this line parallel and both angle is inside it means co interior so we can write a plus 116 is equal to 180 degree A reason we can write down being co interior being co interior angle okay now we have to find out the value of a a is equal to what is here 180 minus 116 after that we have to find out the value of a a is equal to what just subtract 180 minus 116 we get here 64 so 64 similarly to find out value of b same we have to do b plus 1 b plus 124 is equal to 180 degree you can see here both angle is inside of parallel lines so same reason we have to write bean co interior angle b is equal to 180 minus 124 we we have to subtract this to find out value of b so let's subtract 180 minus 124 and we get here 56 hope you understand up to here reason being pointed because both angles are inside of this two parallel line now we have to find out the value of x whole so x is equal to what we have to write a plus b what is the value of x x is equal to 64 so 64 plus uh, b is equal to 56 so 56 now when you add this we get here um, 6 plus 4 10 and here 12 120 degree now look at the last question number f this one is quite different type here what we have to do here also same just we have to increase we have to draw this line up to here and write on a b here uh, c is not here so let's write down here c here and i think c here d e let's write on this one f okay now here we have to find out value of x to find out value of x and this angle will be equal yes corresponding one is inside one is outside of these two parallel lines so this we have to find out first to find out this you can see here this one is exterior angle exterior angle equal to sum of two opposite interior angles suppose this one is y suppose this one is y this in angle is y so what we can write here y plus 20 is equal to 130 degree reason exterior angle is equal to sum of two opposite interior angle of the triangle so this one is exterior angle these two are interior angle exterior angle is equal to sum of two opposite opposite interior angle of the triangle these two are inside so interior angle of the triangle now from here we have to find out value of y y is equal to 130 minus 20 so when you subtract we get here 110 degree hope you understand up to here after that we have to find out the value of x so we can write x is equal to y so we can write here x is equal to y what is the reason here this one is inside one is outside of these two parallel line so we can write bin corresponding angle because one is inside one is outside of these two parallel line so bin corresponding angle what is the value of y 110 so x is equal to 110 degree is the answer hope you understand this uh, video related with parallel lines uh, from geometry if you understand please hit the like button and if you are new on my channel please consider subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button to get notification of upcoming videos thanks for watching till last keep supporting and keep sharing with your friends and do not forget to comment too